Hello everybody, welcome to Sanan. I'm eating the eye of your host Isaac Barak Odara. And yes, Kama 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 Ada to Kohapa on set with another amazing barber. We finish our series of Nairobi's finest barbers here at Wemba TV. Remember, we air every Wednesday at 8 p.m. So let's dive in and get to know our barber today. For a very long time, we have had like three episodes with male barbers but today i have a lady barber I, that's it does sound fitty lady barber <laughs> yeah so uh sh her name is queen and she's going to be shaving our model today our model is none other than ian Munyewe. Uh, so get to see the before and after uh yes so let's dive in and get to meet our guest today Sasa. Oh, I hope you're not tense. <laughs> Leo on set, my German, you know, 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 you you can introduce yourself at you know, you you do the setup, you uh, getting, getting you then you get to introduce yourself. Just take your time, no problem, no worries. Eh? Yeah, no, Kosawa. So, so. Okay, okay. And someone. Okay. So, Queen, you can introduce yourself. What is your name and where is your shop and what do you do? Uh, my name is Leah. Uh -huh. uh, shop Young, we go Emirate. Emirates. Yes. Uko ni wapi? Kiambu town. Kiambu town. Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Uh -huh. Uwe na nyo. Uh -huh. Style zote. Uh -huh. Baka dye, everything. Everything. Yes. Every single style. Yes. Okay, you can you can start shaving him even as we continue with the conversation. Tengeneza tu machini zako as we continue with the conversation. Yes, yes, yes. So, ukiendelea tu pole pole. Uh, maybe where, where did you grow up? Uli grew up in Tangani. Uli zali wa Tangani. Kiambu town. Uh -huh. Place ni tuwa Gegu. Gegu. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's where you grew up. Yes. Okay. And then let's pull it. Pull You don't. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mimi tu ndakuwa na kongelesha ukiendelea tu kumshev pole pole. So li grow ya place ni tu gegu. Yes. Eh eh. So uh, after which primary you kinda shule gani? Gegu primary. Eh? Gegu primary school. Gegu primary. Yes. Okay. Eh eh. So did did you always know you love shaving because it's a very complicated industry? Uh, Ulikuwa na juanga from a very young age utaingia kwa industry ya kushave. Uh, Nikuwa class 6. Ukiwa class 6? Yeah. Kweli, what really happened ni ukawana? Ini kitu naeza taka kufanya. <laughs> Nilipata dema kinyoa mahali fulani. Uh -huh. so, Wapi hapo? Ilikuwa badu kiambu? Yes. Uh -huh. So, hiyo kitu ilikuwa ndani yangu. Nikaenda uh -huh. hapo. Uh -huh. Nika, nika, nika keti hapo. Uh -huh. Nika pewa squad ya kinyoa. Ukiwa class six. Yeah. Ukapewa squad ya kunyoa. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Walikupea mtu mkubwa, mtoto mdogo, how is it? <laughs> Nilianza na mtoto. Yeah. 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 So for that squad, were you paid for that squad? Because hini, hini squad itu umepewa, as in walikulipa, you were at class six at this point. How was it? Kanya nilienda, yeah. nililipua. Okay. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. So you discovered you love shaving at class six. Yes. I wish I learned my passion at class six. I would be very, very rich. A very rich young man. <laughs> okay, so uh, class six, umesomu yusomea, uka, uka maliza primary, yes. high school, uka inda shule kani? Tumaini high school. Tumaini high school, yu kwa api? Yutamayu. Gatamayo. Getamayo. Oh, Getamayo. Yes. But there is Gatamayo in Gatundo. Getamayo is in Kiambu. Yes. Okay. So you went to Getamayo. Uh, you joined high school. and you went to Tumaini. 
tumaini high school yes. bado iko mpaka sasa hivi eh iko okay ukamaliza ulimalizia tumaini high school ama ika kwa vipi ah uh, ni shift eh uh-huh. enda shule nyingine eh uh-huh. lakini nikafika form 3 kwa hiyo shule nyingine eh uh, school fees ikashindikana eh uh-huh. hiyo uh-huh. ilikuwa shule gani tena hiyo ilikuwa dumberi girls dumberi girls uh-huh. so ukumalizia dumberi girls eh uh-huh. Wewe umesoma groups of schools. Umesoma <laughs> shule mingi. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. After Dumberry Gulf, ukaenda wapi? Nilikuja tu mtaani kuhasa tu. Uh-huh. Yeah. So ukumalizia high school. Ukuweza yeah. kumalizia high school. Eh yeah, si kiweza. Okay. So the uh, how how was life in Dumberry Gulf? Did you enjoy life there? Uh, who was your favorite teacher in Dumberry? Um, Mrs. Jane. Mrs. Jane. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Jane, huyu ni mwanafunzi wako. She made it in life. She is here at Zendaya Mitindo. Yes, so Mrs. Jane alikuwa anafundisha subject gani? Biology. Biology. Eh, uh, okay, okay. So we went to Newberry Girls. Ukamaliza uk, im, uliingia hustle ya ya kushave immediately ukiwa Newberry Girl after Newberry Girls. Yes. So you always knew this is what you love doing. Yes. So we get immediately. Okay, okay. So how was it uli 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 ingia baba shop inaitwa Aji in Komtangani Katalas. Eh, uh, niliingia Kimbutown. Eh. Uh-huh. Kinyozi inaitwa roadside Kinyozi. Roadside. Yes. Roadside. Yes. Eh. Uh-huh. Eh, uh, hapo ndo nilianza kunyoa. Eh. Uh-huh. Kapewa kazi. Mm. <laughs> But ilikuwa hiyo ilikuwa tu ngumu kuzoeana na customer. Uh-huh. At first. Yes. Okay. Kila <laughs> customer kikuja anasema, "Hey, nanyolewa na huyu mtoto mdogo hii." Kwa zile za wanataka mzae, wewe unajua la mzae. Sawa, alikuwa ananiambia ninyoe kwa mtoto kwanza. Eh. Kaenda hivyo tukazoeana. Eh because mimi me I, i remember back in the days kwanza hata hata kunyolewa tu stingo ilikuwa na trick hata i guess hata siki tambu juzi i went to a barber shop somewhere 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 in a in a very big town naambia mtu mm. eh hey, jamaa ninyoe feed feed mzuri anakwambia huko atunyoangi hizo huko tunanyoanga ni paragon tu <laughs> so uh, uh, how was it being a lady especially in this industry and it dominated with men because the industry ni jamaa jamaa sana most of the kinyozi utaingia utapata majamaa sio madeni so how how has it been for you being a lady and being a baba eh uh, penye nilikuwa nafanyia mhm nilikuwa na wajamaa sita okay wow sana ndo nilikuwa dem wow eh sa niki nikipata customer sana eh uh-huh. Una, unasikia wivu. Oh, majamaa wanasikia wivu. <laughs> so, uh, the other gentlemen, watu wakiingia kwa kinyozi walikuwa wanataka sana sana kunyolewa yeah. na wewe. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Eh, yeah, so Edelea. So how was it like uh, uh, uli 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 dominate vizuri, experience imekuwa nzuri ama ajani imekuwa aje? Eh, imekuwa tough. Eh. Yeah. Kuzata matusi nilikuwa natusiwa. Na nani? Majamaa tu. As, okay, the 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 au majamaa wengine wenye wa wameajiriwa. Oh. So it was challenging in that bit. Yes. Oh, interesting, interesting. So but ukaendelea kupambana. Eh. Yeah. Eh, so ulikaa hapo for how long? One year. One year. Mm. Eh. Uh-huh after which nikatoka hapo nikaenda touchdown kinyozi touchdown kinyozi bado iko kiambu yes okay hapo na hapo nikapambana one year mhm alafu nikatoka hapo mhm hapo kulikuwa hapo bado ulikuwa na unapata matusi ama <laughs> hapo ni madharao sasa madharao <laughs> we this industry is complicated wote na matusi wende kwa madharao okay eh eh ukatoka touch down ukaenda wapi kinyozi inaitwa ni jina ya mtu anajiita baraza kinyozi baraza kinyozi eh sasa hapo ndo niliamua kuweka yangu 
Okay, after umetoka hapo sasa. Mm. Okay. So uh, uh, how has it been now when you umefungua kinyozi yako? Is it still in Kiambu in Ajita? Where can people find you? Uh, in Ajita Queen Kinyozi. Queen Kinyozi. Yes. Okay. Iko Emirate. Mhm. Eh, hapo. Okay. Okay. So uh, experience yako hata ukiwa hapo kwa shop yako imekuwaaje as in I now that it's I believe it's a young shop ni duka mm-hmm. ene bado ni mpya umeanza kupata wateja wateja umekuwa ukinywa in the different kinyozi wamejua uko na kinyozi ama how is it Eh uh, wameanza kunifuata mm, pole pole eh uh, mhm na kupigiwa simu hivyo na wapigie mm. penye niko mhm uh, Mm. So um, most of the time uh, especially back in the days kulikuanga na uh, some vinyuzi wenye hawakukuanga wana eh, walikuwa a bit hostile mm-hmm. eh, unanyolewa hivi unamalizwa ka umesonga mbio mbio as in, oh, most of the time ungepata they, they don't do maybe shampoo or something like that but the industry has ha, has really 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 changed mm. would you say mm. industry yenu inalipa ama iko vipi ili job yenye mtu anaweza lipa nayo rent eh, can you tell us about your job and whether it pays eh job yangu eh I prefer mtu akiwa na yake eh cuz hata ukiunda customers mm-hmm. utaweza kulipa itakulipia ya kukaa eh na hiyo sasa mm. ya job Mm. So would you as advice maybe you know you know some kids grow up and they are like no no at 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 class 6 mm-hmm. you already knew that you love and you would love to become a baba mm-hmm. while wengine wetu tulikuwa tunasema when i grow up i want to become a doctor <laughs> i want to become a an a neurosurgeon I love say to kwa tuna host my show so as in uh, the, now that you always knew what would you advise maybe a parent who maybe mtoto wake akozileza mom me when i grow up i want to become a baba like dj queen so what would you advise maybe a parent like that eh mimi ni za advice eh eh mtoto a focus na kitu yenye anataka mm-hmm. kwa life yake mm-hmm. sa hiyo ndio inaweza msaidia mm-hmm. eh yeah. mm-hmm. how long did it take you to learn your art to shave and everything ili to take how long as in kukua an experienced baba because of course ukinywa pale class 6 au kukua perfect si ndio yeah. but sa hiyo kuna mali huko So what would you say maybe time period for you to perfect your skill it could take like how long to perfect your style of shaving 3 months 3 months yeah. just 3 months is enough for someone to learn being a barber yes do you train other people have you employed people in your shop bado sija hajiri mtu mhm but una can you be able to train do you train people yeah. okay So with three, within three months MC Barak ajitoa hapa Wema TV akuje ajifunze kuwa baba. Is it, is it possible? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What if you are not a baba? Kama ungekuwa baba, kuna kitu kingine ulikuwa unapenda kitabu ile maybe ungeai kuwa. Eh. Eh, what was what is that? DJ. DJ. Yeah. Have you ever DJed in, in, in an event? Sijawai. Ujawai kabisa kabisa kabisa. Yeah. But it's something that you have ever loved to do. Yes. Okay. Hiyo you, ilikuja before. Eh. Uh-huh. Kunyoa. Oh, hiyo ndio ilikuwa passion yako before. Eh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Lakini mm. pesa zikakosa. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So leo tukiamua nikiamua mimi kama MC Barack nataka maybe kuku connect with someone who trains DJs. Mm-hmm. Would you all be open to go and learn? Yes because it's, it's something that you love doing. I guess we'll talk about that after the show to one come in the future. I know DJ Terod he's a kona music academy up at DJ Academy up. And maybe we can we can see how we can go about it. So uh Leo what are you doing? What are you shaving our ni ini ini what's the style you're doing to our model today? Fit. A little fit. Okay. So what does it entail um uh, What are you doing exactly? Mm-hmm. Uh, na- na shift. Oh, na shift. So basically any time you know how to go about it. Yes. Eh, apart from 
uh, fade what other styles do you do what other things do you do punk uh -huh. box uh -huh. Zote, zote. Zote, zote. Both female and male gender. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I guess we'll just dive into the pop quiz. These, these are just basic questions about you. Must be too simple, simple about you and what you love doing. Uh, but before then, you can tell us maybe what, which is one of the most worst experiences we make kwa nayo. Ile ni with sao, ile kitu mbaya kapisa ili kufanyikio kio kwa hii industry ya ya比那爸爸。え、マトゥシ。うん。トゥエクスプレインアンインスタンス。いりこ、ガニ、メビ、ミミ。いりこにメメリザトゥエクスいりこ、ディセンバ。うん。カスタマーかじゃあ、ポ
John what mm. unaweza angalia pale kwa kamera they will be watching mm. so nimesikia kuna jamaa anaitwa Kiarie Kiarie mm-hmm. John mm-hmm. Kim mm-hmm. yani nimewapiga for what ni wengi si wengi wengi sana <laughs> okay 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 what would be maybe uh, your parting shot and maybe uh, the la- maybe the last thing that you know Zambia watu wenye maybe mtu anataka kuingia kwa industry ya kukua baba na maybe any dem mm-hmm. na hajui how to go about it na maybe anaogopa this is a male dominated industry unaweza advise aje mde kama huyo eh uh, mimi naweza mu advise mm-hmm. asikuwe na uoga mm-hmm. uje tu uulize place mm-hmm. and make friends na watu Mhm. Sasa hiyo tamsaidia. Mhm. Eh. But as you give up. Yes, give up. Yeah. Because ume ume umetumia challenges mingi zenye umepitia especially being a lady kwa hii industry. I love uko place una work, unatusiwa. Maybe unaonesha madharau but umevumilia. That's what I love about mm-hmm. your your work and your resilience kwa hii industry. Maybe mm-hmm. unaweza tupea maybe uh, even after tukimalizia malizia your phone contact mm-hmm. ya biashara yako and maybe kwenye watu wanaweza kupata kwa Facebook kwenye majita pale Facebook pale Facebook ni Leo Anjiru mm-hmm. na sijafungua hizo zingine mm-hmm. Instagram TikTok bado hizo sijafungua mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. hizo tutakuja tu pale pole 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 tu Mhm. So namba yako ya simu yenye maybe ya biashara kwenye mtu akitaka kukurich akikuja Kiambu can give out your phone number 07 mm-hmm. 97 mm-hmm. 10 29 mm-hmm. 48. Okay. Naweza soma tena 07 mm-hmm. 10 29 48. Okay. So mtu akipiga tu hiyo namba akiwa na akiwa Kiambu. Mm-hmm. Kiambu siri pale Emirates atakupata. Yes. Eh shopi kwa umesema iko Emirates, ndio? Yes. yes. Eh, so but thank you so much for finding time to come to the show. Yes. Nimeshukuru sana naona unamalizia malizia. Yeah, and he, he looks good. He looks good. So find time hata mimi pia natatafuta muda mimi pia nikuje pale hapo kwa baba shop mimi pia nipigwe cut nipigwe fed. Mm. Okay. Kwa the, the model is looking nice. Atajiona baada ya show. <laughs> eh. Yeah. Okay, okay. But thank you so much. Utamalizia malizia to offset. Eh. Yeah. Maybe kuna kuna mtu mwingine maybe mwenye maybe unataka kusalimia nyumbani your mom hey. your dad eh unaweza kusalimia angalia tu kamera unasalimia Unaweza taka kusalimia mom uh-huh. akiwa pale Gegu uh-huh. anaitwa Merian uh-huh. na dad uh-huh. Jospat uh-huh. na masista zangu wote okay uh, ni big up to my friends wangu uh-huh. Mary uh-huh. Margaret Karo mm. Nish wote. Mm. Au na mabrothers umesema na masisters wako. <laughs> bro yangu akiwa pale anaitwa Pato. Eh hey, umesahau bro bana. <laughs> <laughs> Pato. Mm. Bernard. Mm. And John. Nice nice. But thank you so much for coming to the show. Unaweza maandizia maandizia tu. Hata mimi nikimaliza kusema stories zangu. You can just finish up. So yes that was all from us here at Sanana Mitindo that was our guest she is none other than DJ Queen she's a DJ and attack of kunge for DJ eh but bando she loves uh, everything about hair and style and this is our very last episode of uh, Nairobi's finest barbers and at least we have brought a lady to represent so my game pale nyumbani mseme at eh baraka na nitanga tu na jamaa I represent the female gender I have tried to balance it and that was her story she has given us her experience ya kwa kwa industry ya ya being a barber and it's challenging especially being a lady barber but she has been able to uh, persevere every challenge that she has gone through na industry na lipa so if you're a lady out there and you want to enter into this industry feel free to enter into the industry i have been your host Isaac Parako there see you next Wednesday 
as we start a new series on dances. Eh? Tunafanya series ya madansa. So if you're a dance pro out there, we'll be featuring you on this show. So stay put. See you next Wednesday at 8 p.m. For now, adios and good night.